as something that they are struggling with. And according to a Washington Post, public speaking or even talking about your problems is a biggest fear among Americans. Over the span of 19 years, counting 19 as this year, I've been alive, I've dealt with plenty of struggles on my own. I have even dealt with having my highs where I was happy and having my, my lows where I was sad. Through every single emotion, God has always revealed to me an answer to my problem. And I know that not everyone in this room may choose the Bible as a reference to go to in a time of need. And if that is something that you choose, that is your decision. And you are free to choose what your decision is um, in your making. And with that in mind, I'd like to share with you three different emotions that you may feel and how God can answer them for me or even for you if you choose. These emotions are happiness, sadness, and loneliness. To start off, one of the best emotions to feel that everybody loves to feel is happiness. Everyone loves to be happy. I can thankfully think of a lot of happy times in my life, but I'll tell you about one. In my very first, my very first speech that I gave, my youth speech, I talked about my foot, and I kind of gave a little bit of detail with that and the struggles there. But when I was born, long story short, I was born with a club foot. They said I'd never play sports. And so I tried so hard for years to play sports and to actually be pretty good at it. And for a while I was. I was a really good three point shooter and I was probably the happiest that I had ever been. I felt like I had defeated all odds and did something that doctors were originally thinking were not even possible. In Isaiah 12 too, it says, surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord himself is my strength and my defense, and he has become my salvation. Most of the time when we're happy, we don't ever think, oh, you know, so-and-so is the reason why I'm happy, or, you know, God is the reason for why I'm happy, because we just love living in that moment, and we just love experiencing that moment. This verse helps me to remember why I feel this way. It says that I will trust and not be afraid, that he is my strength and my defense. And through these words, it showed me that he is there for me despite what people say, and that I can feel happy reading this verse. With any situation you face where someone tells you that you can't, and you do, and you feel happy about it, this can be one of the many answers why. The second emotion that I would like to share, which conflicts happiness, is sadness. Like happiness, there's been many times where I have been sad. My junior year of basketball, going back on my foot, we were about two weeks from our first game, and I really felt like I was going to start that year. I really thought it was going to be a great year. I had a huge head. I was beyond excited. I was so ready for it. And long story short, tore my Achilles tendon, and I had to be out the whole season. By the summer of my senior year, I could even, like, I just barely walk. I was kind of early stages, like physical therapy, pretty much. I remember being devastated beyond measure. I was extremely upset about it. And Deuteronomy 31 8 says, The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. When something you love more than anything is taken from you, it's like the breath is knocked out of you. You almost feel lost. And this verse helped me with my struggles. And I'll admit, it took me a long time. It wasn't like instantly I was like, oh, you know, this is the reason why I'm injured and here's why, you know, here's the perfect reason. And I immediately was like that. It took me some time, as it would everybody that would go through something devastating. This thing will never leave. Do not be afraid or do not be discouraged. This made you believe that this injury had to happen for a reason. And if you would like to know more, I can tell you at a later time, but that I didn't have to worry because God had this planned all along and something good was gonna happen out of going down this road. Happiness and sadness kind of go hand in hand because, you know, it's like you're happy, you're sad, you know, they're kind of like one or the other. But putting the speech together, I wondered what would go along with happiness and sadness. And one that I found that I'd like to talk about lastly is loneliness. Uh, this is something that people feel no matter what age. And going back to my foot, I said that it took me a long time to really get that last person to understand. And in the meantime, I myself felt lonely. All of those kind of depressing thoughts that I had about feeling that I had, you know, lost everything and, you know, that I was just, you know, 
having to face this on my own and stuff, I was just really devastated about it. Uh, Psalm 34, 18 said, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. This verse is very near to me because it reminds me of one important thing. That no matter how many times like I feel like I am alone or that I have to do something by myself, I am reminded that he is still there. I was crushed in spirit and I was hurting over what happened to me and I didn't know what to do. Once again through his word, he showed me the answer I needed. Before I finish, I hope these three things helped you in some way. And I said at the first that it is your decision whether or not you go to the Bible as a point of reference or not. And you get to decide what you want in those situations. Through happiness, I talked about Isaiah 12 and how I was where I was because of his strength. Through sadness, I talked about God going before you and knowing the best path for you. And lastly, through loneliness, I talked about how he is near to me and saves the crush. And leaving, I have these papers that you do not have to take if you don't want to. I'm having this uh, little handout papers and it's totally up to you. But if you would like to know one or know some that are talked about today, or any other emotions that you may go through, they will be on a table here beside me that you can pick. I'm just a man that doesn't know a whole lot, but what I do know is that you never have to struggle with something alone. There's always an answer for you.